What's up, y'all? We are officially 20 days out from CD Projekt Red dropping their new AAA RPG title, Cyberpunk 2077, and they have just been pumping out the marketing vids, so I thought we'd check one out together and then a rap about it after, so let's get it on. Here we go. Ugh. Cyberpunk. Where'd you even come from? How are we even talking? Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. They killed my dog. You are a dreaming bee. Those are memories. You two are connected in a way I can't make head or tail of. Who? Who? Who, Vic? Silverhand. Johnny Silverhand. Real talk of the town back in my day. He died like forever ago. You need to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now. He'd burn down half the city just to prove he was right, and burn the other half just for fun. What do you want? Whoa, whoa! Huh? Was that a red and a blue pill? Arisaka. I don't even know what that means. Do whatever it takes to stop him, defeat him, gut him. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. Bitch slap! A bullet to the fucking brain! <laughs> get out! Just get the fuck out! <laughs> Boy, that guy had like lightsabers on his arms. Much time left. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. <laughs> oh yeah! Let's get out and rap about it. All right, you guys, Cyberpunk 2077, only 20 days out from finally releasing. We have been patient, we've seen some delays, but it's finally coming out and I am so pumped. I've even had to consciously make an effort to temper my excitement and turn the hype down just a little bit so I can go into it on the real and let's hit the trailer this one focused on johnny silverhand which is one of the main characters in the game and is the character that keanu reeves plays so let's cover the basics it's going to be a first person open world rpg game and they are going to be focusing heavily on character development there's going to be three main classes in the game solo which will be your advanced combat character Techie, which will be your engineer, and Netrunner, which will be the hacker. And from what it looks like, you are not restricted to one class. You can build one as a primary and then dabble in the others, spread it across, or completely invest in just one. You also get five different skill trees, which each have 20 different perks that you can pick and choose from, and full character customization. On top of all that, you also get to choose what they're calling a character life path, which is basically the origin of your character, and you're gonna get three different options to choose from, which will influence the base stats of your characters and what options, for instance, you get in dialogue with other characters in the game. So without a doubt, they are putting a heavy emphasis on the RPG elements of the game by allowing you to invest and build your character in so many different ways, which I am so excited about. RPGs are some of my favorite games of all time, so I can't wait to jump in here and just craft and build my character up into this ultimate badass. The story is sounding pretty interesting so far too. We're gonna be playing this underground low-level criminal from what it looks like, who is in pursuit of an augmentation that'll give him immortality. But he ends up finding this chip along the way that he plugs into his brain and is surprised to find Johnny Silverhand, Keanu Reeves' character, on that chip his entire consciousness so he ends up being able to interact and even see Johnny Silverhand in the game and of course Johnny Silverhand has his own problematic background where 
Apparently he's burnt down half or the entire city before. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds dope. And the world looks absolutely badass as well. I've looked at a comparative map between GTA 5 and Night City, and they look pretty close to the same. I think I read somewhere that it's around 24 kilometers in size, which will be absolutely huge. The final deets are, they're saying there's gonna be over 100 different types of weapons in the game that you can mod the hell out of, and there's gonna be tons of body augmentations. <laughs> and I can't wait to try some of this stuff. They've really been showing off a lot of the body augmentations in some of the promo vids, like having big ass blades come out of your forearms or being able to hack into stuff. And I'm sure there is a ton of augments that we haven't even seen, like All right, let's talk about all the cool shit that I am super excited about from what I've seen so far. And the first thing is I'm really hoping to get some sort of a Deus Ex experience out of this game. From everything that they've been showcasing to the RPG elements investing in your character Character, being able to modify weapons and gadgets, and then being able to modify and augment your character's body. I really want to get that first person immersive experience where I've got tons of different options to interact with the world and complete missions and get past enemies or take enemies down or infiltrate certain things or manipulate conversations. There's so many things Deus Ex did that influenced so many cool games in the future. And from what I've seen so far, I'm really hoping that I get that experience from this game and all the signs are leading to that. And the last thing that I'm hella excited about in Cyberpunk is probably the thing that I have the least amount of information on. But I'm really excited about the story and most of all, I'm excited about and hopeful that they'll have a dense reputation system combined with a bunch of different factions and groups in the game. I would love to see a reputation system based on the decisions that you make, the missions you complete, complete and how you complete them totally have an influence on different factions and different groups and ultimately shape where the story goes. Now, they have been really clear that yes, all your decisions in the game are going to heavily influence the direction of the story and that can break off into several different branches, but there's so much opportunity to really create an immersive experience by really shaping how characters or groups or areas react to you or what opportunity or, or options you have in certain situations based on what you've done and how that's actually impacted other characters in the game. So yes, the story has a macro world building elements based on decisions that you make in the game, but I'd really like to see a more dense and intricate reputation system that impacts things on a micro level. All right, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for kicking it with me. Leave a comment below. What do you think? Are you excited about Cyberpunk? Are you hopeful for other things in the game? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you're new to the channel and like what you see so far, hit that subscribe button below and give me a like and y'all know how we do. I will see you on the next Girls Garage. GG.